Here we go, folks. The worst game of 2018. I have sat and pondered the very existence of this title, and I can't think of a single positive thing to say about it. Not one bloody thing. I cannot imagine what the developers at Bethesda were high on when they looked at the proposal for this title and said to each other, Yep! This is the big one! This is the opus! This is the game we've been waiting our entire careers hoping to make! It's like going to med school for eight years and ending up as a high school nurse. The game is so bad, it makes half-baked buck-and-a-quarter indie titles look good by comparison. It makes launch day No Man's Sky look like a rich and rewarding experience. It makes Battlefront 2 look like an actual Battlefront game. And it makes Ringo Starr look like a good drummer. I could talk for hours on the logic or apparent lack thereof concerning why game companies think interactive abortions like this are acceptable, but I just don't think I have the soul left to do it. So let's just dig in on why Fallout 76 is the kind of game that makes you want to take up furry haiku writing. Here, I'll play the mouth harp. This is the most redneck thing I've ever done in a game. First off, this is the worst example of a quick cash grab I've seen in a good while. As far as I can tell, Bethesda decided they needed to get in on two different genres. The survival sandbox genre and the battle royal genre, but didn't want to spend any real time or money building something new into either one, so they took Fallout 4, stripped it naked, and locked it in a basement for a year with Ark and Fortnite in the hopes that when they finally let it out, it would be indoctrinated into some kind of bastardized amalgamation of both. But it's not, folks. It's a fail. It doesn't have enough successful components of either one to make fans of either genre happy, and takes a big rectal mucus-infused crap on the Fallout fanbase in the process. It's like a movie company that said, Oh, you like Space Ghost? Green Lantern? Superman and Wonder Woman, huh? Well, here you go! Let's start with the graphics. It's Fallout 4 in the fall. They literally took Fallout 4 and covered it in autumn leaves. The logic being that you're the first vault to open, so the trees haven't died yet. Have you ever seen pictures of modern-day Chernobyl? Do you see a lot of lush greenery? And that was after one meltdown. This was allegedly after multiple nukes were dropped on the United States, and yet it looks like frickin' Sleepy Hollow in October out here. Every graphical shortcoming Fallout 4 had due to Bethesda being too cheap, or lazy, or both, to build a new engine is even worse here. Frame rate drops galore, enemies and environments that look straight out of 2008, texture map failure, animations failing to load, water that doesn't move when you're walking through it. Jesus, that water didn't even move while you were in it. There's like no, ref there's no ripples or nothing. There's no splash when you jump in. <coughs> that looks so amazing. Here, watch this shit. You ready? Here, watch. It doesn't even fucking move. <laughs> That's lame. <laughs> that looks so stupid. Ah, uh, uh, Bethesda. Uh. Sunbeams that seem to originate from the middle of hillsides. Yeah, those god rays are like coming from multiple directions. What's. Because <laughs> they were coming from over there. Now they're coming from over here. Animals and or enemies that get stuck inside walls and other structures. What? Yes, it is. It looks like that moose head at Disney World. That talking moose head. Let's put this thing out of its misery. We set it free! 
And wow, it's a realistic shadow it's generating there. Yeah. It's flickering like a 1970s black and white TV. And the, the texture keeps popping in and out. And it's gone. <laughs> Tire swings that are tied to nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a rope. But it's broken. It's like... What the hell? There's like one little piece of rope and then the piece it's swinging from and they're not connected to anything. hell it's like there was supposed to be a tree here and they didn't create the tree mission markers that failed to load the actual mission no matter what you do or what time of day you arrive and my personal favorite your gear loadout failing to load after leaving a mission building back into the overworld and finding you or your co-player or both standing in your crap stained underwear if any of you out there are into gingers, have I got a treat for you. The sound is atrocious. Yes, bits and pieces of the music are good, and the sound effects are okay, but the control over hearing other people talking could use some serious work. First off, when you're going through the vault prologue and creating your character, and other players can be heard shooting the shit, it breaks the immersion. But guess what? By now, I'm sure that's much less of a concern than it was when the game first launched. Not because Bethesda fixed it, oh no. It's because there are no voices to hear. But I'll get to that in a minute. Whenever you find an audio recording, it just starts playing it, and it drowns out the voices of everyone you're playing with. You might as well just shut up whenever anyone in your group grabs one, because they're not going to hear you over the wonderful pile of exposition they just stepped in. It's like a friend coming over to your house, taking a massive crap, and then just leaving the door wide open for everyone else to smell and enjoy. Oh, yeah. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long, and things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Story. I hear a robot. I'm Dasa Ben on I respond. I've been working with the responders for a couple of years now. I'm from Charleston originally. Ooh, so. I found sunglasses. The gameplay is broken beyond belief. First off, because of the fact that it is always online, that doesn't work the way it used to. Now, it's more similar in form and function to, say, for example, Bullet Time from the Max Payne series. But the aiming percentages and other factors that determine your likelihood of doing any serious damage are still in there somewhere, so it results in a system that doesn't work at all. I stopped trying to use it five minutes in. It's that pointless. You're better off swinging a machete at most enemies than trying to shoot them, much less trying to level up to increase your accuracy and firearm skills. And that brings me to the leveling system itself. It's been completely changed around. Now it's all about cards you earn when you level up. Random cards. You could get something really useful, or you could get something you already have, or in most instances, you could get a card about as effective as a fourth edition Magic the Gathering card that's been banned from tournament play. <laughs> Looks like Solid Rev's wife finally had enough. <laughs> She'd had all she could stands, and she couldn't stands no more. You're encouraged heavily to build encampments you carry around with you so that you can craft items, sleep, and cook food no matter how far you stray. As you progress, they start out as simple campsites, but can over time evolve into full houses, limited only by your imagination, the amount of trash you've managed to pick up, 
and your patience and tolerance for the barely functional building system. Of course, if you exist in the game, whatever you built stays there. So if other players should happen along and find your house, they can tear it apart and strip it for everything it's worth if they're willing to be marked as wanted men. But there's a problem with that, see? Chances are you don't even have to worry about it. If you happen across another player's digs and want to go all backdraft on it, feel free, because no one is going to come kill you. Maybe when the game launched, sure, but not now. Oh no. You know why? Because no one else is still playing this turd burger, that's why. Stranded J and I spent over six hours in our first session. During that entire time, we ran into one other player. We saw him briefly when first stepping out of the vault and he instantly ran away. And for the rest of that six hour plus session, he remained at the bottom of the map standing still, saying nothing. So the bulk of our experience was just playing it like your standard co-op sandbox shooter. This is why there are no voices to hear. This is why no one will come hunt you when you're wanted. This is why even though PvP is a joke, since the person you attacked has to actually accept your attack as an attack to fight, PvP is broken. Hell, Jay had to tear up the turrets on a house to become wanted so that I could kill him to get the kill a guy who's wanted trophy. What? It's me. <laughs> I got that trophy now. <laughs> the game is dead. Pushing up daisies, oxygen challenged, Van Halen 3, DED, dead! We need to go in here because this game needs Jesus. There are no NPCs. Bethesda says they did this because they wanted the players themselves to be the NPCs. But of course, there are no players because the game is dead! So you just wander around getting quests from recordings, computers, and robots to distract you from the fun of killing two-headed cows. What the f*** are you doing? You look like you're blowing the jukebox. What the... You can go up now real fast. That's what she said. Man, I just found the most worthless thing yet. Alright. What'd you find? You. <laughs> Thank God you saved me. Up. Oh. I killed a two-headed moo cow. It's weird. The safe is up on the wall, but it shows you try on your knees trying to open it. Oh, now you're naked. You're naked. You're in your. <laughs> you're in your tidy whities What the. F Well, allow me to allow me to congratulate you on your success and your impressive bulge there. Must be really pleasing the ladies. <laughs> Seriously, that's not the kind of relationship we have, Jay. You need to quit doing that. The enticing candy-like button. Can he hold out, folks? Will he hold out? No, I can't. Oh, that just locks us in. Wow. I don't think there's enough TP for that. Whoa, something shot at us. One of the dead guys we killed is just like hanging inside the door. <laughs> He's just like frozen in, in react death reaction. This is fucked up. <laughs> you just killed me.
<laughs> he just blew my ass up. God damn it. I just walked up to the door. <laughs> the grenades fell from the top. You were like, uh, looks like you can go in here. And I went running right up behind you and it blew me up. <laughs> All right, so where are you at? so funny to see you running around the corner in your skippies. <laughs> so we're... You know what this looks like to me? Oh, shit! You're dead, jolly man. This is almost like if this was back in 1994 and I'm playing the shareware version of Fallout 76. Oh, that's a demonic teddy bear. I'm taking... Teddy Fear, it says. Teddy Fear. All right, oh, I, Teddy Fear is mine now. Dish rag and a piece of paper that's just going to float there. There's a mole rat standing here. It's not even trying to attack me. It's just standing there. It's just standing there staring at the at a to, at a, a tool board. I'm serious. I'm standing literally right behind him. And he's just staring at a tool board on the wall. You're dead now. And all the talk of the wonderful nuke system, being able to find launch codes to nuke another group's stronghold, never happened. And you know why? Well, for one, we scoured the map for hours and never saw as much as a single launch code, and two, because there are no other players to nuke, and no players to nuke you, because the game is DEAD! And let's not forget the glorious satisfaction of getting killed while playing a mission co-op, only to find that instead of respawning at the entryway to said mission, you get respawned outside the building. So you have to wait for it to load that you died, pick a place to spawn that you hope isn't a country mile from the entry point, wait for it to load again, walk up to the door, and then wait on it to load again. And on top of that, there's a good chance that when you get back up to where you were killed, in hopes of grabbing all that loot you dropped, that the hamster wheel of a server Bethesda's running this crap shoot on boots you out of the game entirely, and then you get to wait for upwards of five minutes just to get back to the title screen where you can then select to rejoin your co-player and then wait for more loading screens which lead you to being nowhere near your co-player so you walk back to the entry point for five minutes click on the door and then go into yet another eternity of a loading screen and oh god I just can't take this shit anymore Fallout 76 gets a negative 71 out of 7 because all we wanted in the first place was Fallout 5.